I'm here today to show you the T6.1 that we converted last year. So we wanted a T6 for its quality, its size, its style. They're easy to drive and park and it fits in the garage. Rather than your typical full kitchen, narrow bed and little storage, um, full fitted conversion, we went for a fixed bed day van conversion. We don't think the T6 works with a full kitchen conversion. This is more suited to the bigger van like a crafter. So doing it this way, we've got a fixed king size bed, plenty of storage, good floor space and a good size fridge. It's much easier using the camp kitchen, campsite kitchen. It saves all the messing up the van. By doing it this way, we don't have the hassle of the rock and roll bed, putting it up at night and putting it away in the morning. I mean, limited floor space once it's up. And also it makes a cracking day van. It seats up to five people. So as you can see, it makes a cracking day van that seats up to five people. And then to the rear, there's the full width bed pop. So we brought, bought this brand new long wheelbase combi van in Ravana Blue. We added gloss black alloy wheels, black stainless steel side rails. We had the windows tinted for, for privacy. We went for a high-low pop top roof with scenic canvas. And we love how sleek it is when it's down. You can hardly tell it's got a pop top on at all. I considered getting a front splitter, lowering the suspension, but apart from spoiling the ride, it's just not practical on some campsites. You'd be bashing the splitter and catching the underneath on rocks. I thought about getting a rear spoiler, but I don't think it needs it. Looks cool enough as it is. It's such a great van to drive, and we love it. Yeah, it's good. So for us, it had to be automatic. It needed cruise control. It had to have aircom. It also needed the app connect. And the leather steering wheel is a nice touch to it as well. Inside we've got two front captain seats with armrests that swivel. Then a folding rear bench seat. All covered in black leather with a grey diamond stitch. For everyday use it can seat five comfortably. So if you wanted to, you could leave the seat in and four of you could spend the night camping. So with the seat folded over, this will allow two people to climb up into the top and sleep in the roof, and then two people to get in the bed below. Yep. So to remove the seat, you fold it over again, you release the catch at the bottom, and this allows you to, to take the seat out. When you put it back in, you just simply locate it into the lugs at the front and then push it back over. Fold it back up and you're off again. And then you simply pull this lever, seats back up. So when we come, as it's just the two of us and the dog, we remove the seat and fit this hard floor that fits nicely over the four brackets. So now we've got 1400 by 1000 of constant floor space. With the seat swivelled, the roof up, we've got plenty of inside space. To the front windows we use these creative covered cab screens. The side windows fit with magnets, the front screen 
fits over the sun visors and then there's a couple of clips to either pillar and they work really well. To the other windows we've got these van shades so you've got a blackout blind and then you've also got a fly mesh. There's also one to the other window here and then to the tailgate we just have a black outline and they work really good. So with the electrics we've got a leisure battery that charges when driving by the solar panel on the roof or when plugged in on site. Once plugged in we've got a three pin socket and we've got an electric heater under the seat. Then all the time we have a 12 volt socket, we've got four USBs, a battery monitor, then we've got a dimmer switch which operates the down lights and then we've got a couple of up lights as well. In the front and rear we have reading lights that have got an extra two USBs on them and then to the rear of the fridge, that works off 12 volts as well. So to the bed pod, the mattress is in three sections that velcros together. When separated, this allows us to gain access to the bed board, also in three sections. Each section is secured by two Allen key bolts. So now with the top board removed, we can see that the pod's made out of 2v1 sturdy aluminium and down to the left hand side of the pod that's where the battery is and all the electrics. Over to the other side we've then got some more additional storage. So you can see here how the pod is secured down to the six luggage bolts. It's rock solid and it doesn't make any noises, creaks when driving, it's just you know it's just solid. If you lift the rear section then to the left hand side you've got access to the jack, the wheel brace and then some storage and then over to the right hand side of the pod you've got some more additional storage. From the inside I've unscrewed the top panel this gives you access to where we keep our loo and our luggage bags. So to make it into a king size bed we fit these three shelf brackets just locate into these holes. We then use a top board that came from below, fit that on top, secure that down with a couple of allen keys and then that allows a mattress to fit on and we've got a full size bed. So when we go camping we simply make the bed before we set off and then we leave it up until we get home. This saves a lot of messing about against the hassle of a rock and roll bed. As you can see, we have a good sized living area with room for the dog bed. And if you want, you can fold the last section of bed over to give yourself a worktop where you could place a cooker or simply put the laptop to watch a film. So then inside we use the shelf up above as storage and that's where we put our hold holes, once we're at camp. So to the rear of the pod we've got two drawers, simply just twist around the catches, slide it out, very little effort. To this side we've got a 12, 1200 by 500 box there that we um, keep all our camping gear in it 
we've got the cooker, we've got the barbecue, charcoal, electric stuff, other camping things. Above it, we've got equally a 1200 12, um, deep shelf where we slide in our folding table, chairs and the awning and the still room. The drawer is made out of hex ply, it's covered in court and steel, lacquered court and steel to the sides. Then to the other side, we've got a 1400 drawer which pulls out and this is mostly our kitchen gear. So in here we've got a 1200 Dometic fridge that slides out. Good size fridge, plenty of room for the wine and food. Then next to it we've got two 1000 deep drawers. So everything's got its place. All easy accessible. Got a good worktop on here that we can sit the um, gas stove if required. And then to the other side we've also got court and steel. And quite effortless. They just slide back. Secure up again. Everything's solid, no rattles, and it works well. So to the outside, we decided to go with a multi-rail. This gives you the option to fit an awning or a canopy. We like to go with a funky leisure canopy, which offers you different pitching options. This allows you to angle the front down, which can deflect the rain, so you can carry on having a barbecue and carry on with your night. So as you can see, we've maximised every inch, provided a lot of good accessible storage with enough room for all our camping stuff. Also as a day van with a rear seat in, it provides luxurious travel for up to five people. Plenty of luggage options, either in the rear drawers or on top of the bed. And basically, this is our day van and we love it. Hope you've enjoyed having a look around it. Thanks for watching, happy camping.